You know what time it is. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's four in the morning. Which is usually about the time everyone decides if they're going to bed or ordering another three pizzas. Yeah? What's your vote usually in uh, that situation? Uh, never leave pizza on the table. It's like getting 11 in blackjack. Just double down. Don't even think about it. You think this tuning into the tear oh thing is going to work? Like, really? To be fair here, I really only understood like six uh, twelfths of the whole scheme, so... Six twelfths. Well, that's better than me. I just kind of wish that I felt like these ghosts were just a little concerned that their plan won't work. I just feel like they're pretty confident. This... Like they know by sunrise they're all going to be shopping for school supplies. But maybe that's just There's me. a weird chair here. Jonas. I think this um, stuff is getting pulled in from like their time or something. This is so weird. Um, like yeah. that wardrobe exactly in the cave. Good omen. I think we're running out of runway here. Okay. Um, yeah, pizza. I don't even like pizza, but I like the idea of 4 a.m. food. <laughs> My god, this furniture's everywhere now. We're still looking out for stones, but I think I know where they are. I don't know if there's more though. Oh wait, we yeah, we jumped over there last time, right? We didn't even come down here. <laughs> we'll get you some noodles or something. Cheesy chip wrap is the best. You think you know which part of the game now? I don't even know how to describe. We found a board. Clarissa's gone. We've kind of spoken to the demon people. Aha, we got a lab. I guess Maggie was the one who had this place turned into a park. All right. After the fort closed, I used the considerable resources from my father's endowment to buy up most of the land or influence the government officials to declare that which I could not buy protected. I have not been entirely successful and have watched in horror as a small tourist industry has precariously sprung up on this cursed island. Even the family of one of the sailors who died, Calvin Gilbert, that name's come up before, set up a restaurant to cater to the inquisitive out-of-towners. I can promise this though, the museum will never happen and the beach and caves will be boarded up. Why did we have to come here, man? Why did we have to come here? Haunted beach, haunted caves, haunted island. Just leave. How confused are you at this point? I'm pretty confused, Asha. Like, I get some of it. We've had a letter with a revelation saying that, like, um, Maggie Adler caused what had happened to the submarine and it had actually happened by friendly fire and it was a cover-up. So we've got some, like, backstory. But... This whole game thing with these ghosts, I don't really know what's going on yet. <laughs> Alright, so, oh, there's a cave here. What? Is that a cave? We definitely haven't been here yet. When he was stationed at Fort Milner, Colonel Tim Russell would frequently wander the woods west of his barracks and sketch the wildlife he'd encounter on his walks. After the fort closed in 1974, he led a petition to make the land federally protected, and in 1988, he succeeded. Now, Edwards Forest is an internationally recognized wildlife refuge and bird sanctuary, home to 120 bird species, most notably the white-tailed tohi, a large tohi. sparrow indigenous to only this island. The roosting tree that stands before you is a 400-year-old red alder, famous since its discovery in 1655, when Franciscan friars noted that its unusually twisted trunk is bent true north. When he was stationed at Fort Milner, Colonel Tim Russell would frequently wander the woods west of his barracks Colonel and sketch the wildlife he'd encounter on his walks. After the fort closed in 1974, he led a petition to make the land federally protected, so this is the cover-up, right? Because it was Maggie Adler that did that, right? That's what what it was saying. Um, 
<laughs> the ghost had to eat some more. At least you're trying to fight back. <laughs> well done, black all food in the oven. Nice. Um, so... One Franciscan. 140, Loaded right? We might get the true thing. No? 140.1. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be getting these from. Not there, clearly. There's the ones that I've missed. How do I get up there? Oh, I, I think I can get in from, from the next place. You already pied it up, the letter. Think the now radio the message the the disappeared. <sighs> I hope this works. Um. Oh, yeah, I also remembered something. Um. Calvin Gilbert set up a restaurant. Wasn't Calvin one the, of the ghosts? Oh, no, Calvin. An electrician who died on the Kanaloa. Oh, the family of one of the sailors who died, Calvin Gilbert. Okay. Um. A name, man named Calvin, Calvin, an electrician who died on the Kanaloa. That's who she's, the woman corresponded with who was helping decode the messages. So Calvin is one of the pe the ghosts, obviously. His family made a restaurant. That's what it's telling me. Where's the um thing about? Uh, you know where someone was talking about getting married? Oh, there. A weapons technician of the Walter Roy had been at Francis Salt's wedding. Okay. That doesn't answer anything. Um. <laughs> right, you already picked it up. I think that was meant to say. You already picked up the letter. The radios, what, disappear when you find the correct, like, a letter to do with it, maybe? Something like that. That's what I am decoding from <laughs> from your message. <laughs> oh, please let me jump down there. I want to go... Oh, fuck's sake. I need to go back into the woods. But I'll go this way first. I don't remember. I don't remember if I went down here. Oh, look! There's a graveyard, and a letter. She thinks that the ghosts were pushed out of our reality and maybe aren't actually dead. Okay, my belief, bolstered by Anna's and my research, conducted largely at the Catbird Station, where interruptions were rare, is that the men and women of the USS Kanaloa were separated from our dimensional existence by the implosion of the submarine's nuclear reactor. I identified one passenger, Henry, by his call sign and his confused dictation and reliance on game logic says to me that their emotional states, if not mental states, had been reduced to that of children. A thought I cling to when I envision Anna's demise. So they've kind of got trapped in a in a different dimension because they were like at the heart of a nuclear explosion but it's made them like children 
<laughs> oh, I hate it when that happens. <laughs> yeah. Um. That's really interesting. That's making a bit more sense. It makes sense why they're like trying to play games with us and stuff. Yeah, they're detached from the world. Must be strange. And then I guess they took Anna. Maybe she didn't die. Maybe they like stole her through a triangle. Easy three. If indeed he find fault with anything or expose it with charity, the abbot shall discuss it prudently. Less perchance God has sent him for this very thing. If indeed he find fault with anything, or expose it with charity, the abbot shall discuss it prudently. Less perchance God has sent him for this very thing. What? Alright, I don't really understand those words. Are they talking about the cover up? Like, if they realize something or something? I don't really know what that means. But, um, oh well, we found that one. Uh, they said they tried too fast. Maybe it. Are you saying maybe it? Um, because they tried too fast. It's like launched her into their dimension too. Resulted in her going to be with them. Yeah. Could be. Could very well be. I think I have to go the long way around. To get up back into the woods. To get them stones that I missed. Because we're on nine now. And then after I get them there's only two more. Hopefully I'll come across them like organically. <laughs> um... Come on. No, let me go back. Well, let me go back. I just want to get up here. Never mind. Because that's where I came in the first time when I'd missed the rocks. Okay, it's fine. Oh, you only noticed the letters really right before the cutoff and you joked around everywhere looking for them. Luckily they have clues to where they are. What's the clues to where they are? Is that in the radios or something? I've just been like randomly finding them all. I don't really want to go back in here. Look how everything's a triangle. There's triangle windows. The locks on the radio doors are in triangle shapes. Right, there's nothing in here. That's fine. Antique. Was there an antique shop? Now this place ah! is up at the top of the hill. I oh hope my this works. God. <sighs> oh god, we're in another loop de loo. They always come at the most appropriate times, don't they? <laughs> yeah, they do. Thanks for the update. This scared the shit out of me. Like, you should have seen my arm just fucking flapped around there. Like, <laughs> oh god. Probably didn't notice the first letter you picked up was in front of the antique shop. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. God, my heart again. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. Yep, I am also hope that. I am also hope that. Oh god, he didn't say it this time. Oh, is that not where? We're oh, we're not going in there again, are we? Oh, my heart.
Yeah, the ghosts don't want us to go up there. Oh, this music is creepy as. Let me go! Okay. Uh, this way? Wait, is there something down there? No! Ren! Nona, what happened? What's wrong with Ren? Ren's... he's... he had an accident. He... he died. I couldn't... This isn't real. No, no, come on. Clarissa was dead too, but... Oh, I see him now. Dead, not dead dead, because apparently killing yourself doesn't actually do anything here. Alex. Well, it's the truth, Jonas. And I'm not gonna stand here and fall for one of these I'm dead, no I'm not, shuffleboard swaps again. Come on, let's skip to the last chapter. I know it's gonna happen. Oh my god. Don't he, get cocky. He drowned. He took a fall. Oh my god. I don't know. He just... He just stopped. I mean, does it really matter what happened? Either way, done is done. And done, in this case, is particular. No, you're not Jonas, so there's no use in pretending. <coughs> Alex Soon is so it won't chill. Be a pretense. It'll be an absolute. Alex, we know you're in charge, and we know your plan, and we also know that your plan won't work. It never does. So we have a proposition for you. A deal. A bargain, really. Um, a proposition? L like what? It's already over for Clarissa. She's gone. We'll pilot her through the rest of existence, and there's nothing you can do to change that. But if you agree to let us take her, let her go quietly and without fuss, you won't slaughter the rest of your friends, like young Reginald here. We leave the rest of you cattle alone. Deal! We really need the one, anyway. No! No, no way! I'm saving everyone! Everyone is coming home with me. We're all getting out of here. <sighs> Courage is not always the way, dear. You don't have much time left. Do you know how we know you don't have much time left? Hmm? Fine. Shoot. How do you know? We know because we can be Jonas for this long, and his soul is as quiet as an empty church. Just never say we didn't to provide you all the rules. These ghosts are living in this loop, right? Oh god, the loop isn't over. Yeah, exactly. Noob internally. Fuck Clarissa. Noob in game. I'll save her. Fine. Oh, it's dark. I'm going loopy. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, Ren must be called Reginald. Is anybody here? Oh, they're up there. Fuck's sake. Oh, look. There's banana bread. It's fine. It's not real. They're just hanging out at the bomb shelter anyway. Yes, we did get this stony, I think, didn't we? Yeah, we did. <laughs> Reginald, yeah. I don't think we should talk to Banana Bren. I know he was your best friend, Alex. I I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know what happened. One minute he was there, and then. He was just... It's okay, Nona. You, you didn't do anything wrong. I know it's not your fault. Of course it's not your fault. You're not even real. I didn't know him that well, but... I like what I'd gotten to know. I'm sorry. It's... I shouldn't. It's colossally stupid of me to talk about him like that with you here. This is... He was more important. Nona, come on. We can still crack this. I do not believe... I, I won't that he's gone forever. I, I just won't. I wish... I had your faith in things. Yeah, but you didn't see Clarissa thing, die. I hope he knew that I liked him. And I don't know if he did. 
He hopes you did. I think that's enough. Like I said, it's a tiny thing. You're not real. But you like each other, so that's nice. The right. station's up at the top of the... Okay. Uh, God. Jonas! Was, my mouth feels like I just ate a tree. The ghosts, they tried to make like a deal with me for Clarissa's life. I didn't take it, of course, but I don't know. I, I wonder I what would have happened if we know. took it. God, that must mean they're getting desperate or something. If they had any like power over the situation, they wouldn't try to work out a compromise. Anyway. That's a good way to look at it. Hello? Anyone there? What? Are they? Oh, they're, um, they're somehow, I guess they're somehow broadcasting or something from the uh, station speakers. What are they? <laughs> are you guys at the station? What are they doing now? Anybody? Like Jonas? Uh, Jonas? that's me. I mean, there has to be like a switch on their end or something to control the, uh, Seriously, talk right box. In the Jonas, don't listen. Talk box? We're all set here for the, uh, the, the thing, thing with the, the machinery, with the stuff. beacon hug, or whatever we're doing. I've done yeah, this one, haven't I? Yeah, let's wasted. do it. Like, actually wasted. Like, I feel my body wasting away. No, it's, it's okay if you're, like, dealing with stuff. We had to deal with stuff. What stuff? The, uh, when I almost kind of slipped and fell off the bridge. Oh my god, you guys, that... No, it was this. It was psychotic to watch. What are you talking Almost about? Doesn't quite describe the terror that held my heart watching her come close. It wasn't that. You were perilously close to tumbling into the ocean from like 5,000 feet up. It wasn't that high. It was like. It was high. Believe me. No, it wasn't. Is this even real? Are we still in a thing? No. It. Ugh, just whatever. I'm fine. She is fine. It's true. It won't let me. <laughs> Okay, just whenever you're ready, because I'm sure you're listening. Yeah, just hit the button, the receiver thing, and we can do this stuff. Stuff, exactly. <laughs> okay, over. Over now. Why do you have to have a last word? Over is good enough. Over now. I don't know if I've got this one or not. Usually you can listen to it back, right? Yeah, you tell him, Nona. Don't punch me, exactly. Like, that's just mean. Ren's just a horrible person. CBK 1. CBK. CBK 1. CBK. CBK 1. What? CBK. CBK 1. CBK. CBK. CBK 1. ZBK one ZBK one ZBK one <laughs> Ren and Nona will get freaky in the tower now. The dick tower. <laughs> oh we haven't listened to this one yet. ZBK one ZBK <laughs> one. <laughs> what is it? One hundred and two. Would have been better had it never been found. The Catbird station was built to detect any enemy attempting a strike from the air. When operational, it was fully outfitted oh, no. with an SCR-271 antenna and an early version of OTH, which stands for Over the Horizon a radar system used to detect targets at extreme distances. It was also the first check of the call and response method. If a missile strike or airborne invasion was identified, <coughs> a call would be sent from this station and, if the signal was found to be accurate, would trigger automatic safety measures and the evacuation of non-personnel. The Catbird uh, station was no, built to detect- Not the Catbird station. The Catbird station is where they did their research, right? Because they said it was quiet up there. Ooh, food, Blecko. See you later. Have a good day. Good evening, even. Um, 
You're gonna make some noodles later. Maybe soup. And boil an egg. Wow, crafty. I suppose that's like, that's regular food, right? Just not for me. <laughs> I think I've seen stuff like that before. Oops, that's the wrong button. Yeah, ramen, is that how you say it? Ah, here we go. You got spaghetti and meatballs. Nice. Right, radio locked. I keep forgetting this thing is that. Okay, I just have to tune it. I just fucking did it! I just gotta keep it still. That's all I gotta do. <laughs> it's only one frequency, not three. Uh oh. Right, I'm ready. What hello. are we picking up? We're here. We made it. Hello. Oh, hello. Okay. This is Edward Island's emergency. How may I help you? If you're being sat on by a very large burglar, just mash the dial with your fist, please. Otherwise, stay on the line. And we'll send a traffic custodian out to you directly. Um, look, the, the ghosts told me they wanted to to make a sort of deal for Clarissa. What? I said no, of course, but uh, I don't know. I just thought you guys should know before. I feel like that was a big decision. Right, well, let's do the, we should have said yes. And get into the shelter and try and fix this fast. Signal verified. Shelter TF1 open. Oh, we did it. I guess it worked. Great. Okay, we'll meet you there. Right. See you at the shelter. Over and out. All right. Close the time hole and save the day. Okay, we gotta go to the bomb shelter. All right. You tried to help find the rock uh, frequency, and I'm wondering why the results are all rubbish. I googled rock frequency. That is not gonna get me the results I want. I don't know exactly what you were looking for. <laughs> oh god. Um shelter one and you can't come back outside again. Alright, so is that like a point of no return? Oh like rock frequencies for this game, but you just search rock frequency. Is that what you mean? Alright, so we're getting there. So I will just I guess I'll go around and find the rest of the things if I can. Um, did we ever go to the campgrounds? We must have. Yeah, we must have. Alright, I'm going to see if I can find this. I know where one is, so there's two more. I'm going to see if I can find them. And then if I can't, I'll just leave them, I guess. Oh, and there's maps. Maps? Letters. But I don't know how many, if there'll be any inside as well. We'll just have a good look about. You're getting... Oh, like music rock. <laughs> yeah, I totally forgot that rock is like a music genre. Yeah, that would... I feel like you will get a variety of results there. Probably none of which would help. <laughs> oh, I love that. Alright. We're now going on a mission that shouldn't have any more spooks. Fireworks! Hello! You played this game two years ago. It was kind of fun. I'm really liking it. I think I'm getting near the end now. Um, it's a bit spooky sometimes. I'm just trying to find the rest of the rocks before I kind of go to a point of no return. <laughs> no more spook. No more spook in, until, we, until we get to the shelter, right? Surely. Oh, they better not be, otherwise now I'm going to get frickin' doubly spooked. At least for the letters you can check for clues. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can just find as much. How am I... Can you explain to me how... I have an idea, Mr. Jordan. Couldn't we have them reborn? 
Oh no, come on, Jonas, don't turn freaky now. Okay, 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 I'm... Jesus Christ, I really hate that. But I'm... I think, um... What is it... Like, what does it feel like when that happens? Is you forget stuff, really. Like what you're supposed to be doing, or... I usually forget my dad's name to start. And then it snowballs into not remembering how to walk or talk, and... But you, like, see stuff, right? Like, when I saw Michael on the beach, Yeah, and I, you... I see stuff, but it's like, I don't know, they're like dreams. They just dissolve when I'm back. Look, it's scary, needless to say, when I, like, drown or whatever in my own body, and it's starting to feel like... Just, like, how do I say this? Because I don't want to... This isn't like a big thing. Okay, I have a time limit for rambling oh, nonsense, no, I didn't... so let's pick it up no. a bit. I just want to say... I just, I Be think nice, it would have been cool man. us living together for, for whatever, senior year. And I'm just glad I met you, that's all. I'm just glad we met. <laughs> I'm glad too, okay? So there, it's out in the open, we're both glad. Okay, good. So, that's it. And now we can go back to the whole escaping and trying to live another day thing. Yeah. And we're gonna be fine, by the way. There's no, you don't have to put it like... It would have been whatever to live together. We are gonna live together, and you're someday soon gonna eat all the peanut butter, and when I go make a sandwich, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> all right. There we go. Yeah, we... We're gonna be the best brother and sister there is. All right, this is where I wanted to be. Um... It's gonna be fine, exactly. Crafty talking in riddles. <laughs> Always. Sometimes about what was ahead. That was a special kind of thing. And when you looked around, you saw you weren't the only one doing it. Somehow it made you feel a lot closer. There was plenty of time for thinking. Thinking about a lot of things you remembered. Okay. Sometimes about what was ahead. That was a special kind of. I don't trust any of these anymore now. When you looked around, you saw you weren't the only you one. You weren't the only it. one doing it. Somehow it made you feel a lot closer. Okay. Yeah, I don't trust the regular ones now as well. Right, wasn't there. Where was it at? Like 100 or above. Whoa, that was a loud bang. Oh, here we go. Yikes. Yikes. Any other little secret messages? Oh yeah, so Crafty, what's like... How how do you get the clues for the letters? Like, what what exactly are the clues for the letters? But I still haven't quite understood that. Oh yeah, for... Yeah, 105.1, but like, where? Is it supposed to be at these things or at the like or just anywhere? Oh, like once in every area or something, do you think? Everywhere, okay. Sweet. Thank you. Alright, so we'll just keep that and then we can check each area. So at least now we know we've checked the woods. <laughs> I mean there's places we haven't been yet. We haven't been in the Fort Milner. 
place. Once in most areas, maybe not everywhere exactly. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, well, we've got two more anomalies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's thirteen in total places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen letters. So. <laughs> no anomalies. Oh my god. No anomalies. <laughs> Probably the same 13 places. Hundred and forty point one. Nothing. So we must have got the one here. Uh we went up to the thing at the top. Yeah, we got the one under... Yeah, that's... Yeah, 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 that's right. There was a letter and a thing. So we won't have got any for the next while because we haven't been there since we started getting the letters. But we still do need to be on the lookout for those anomalies. Non-anomalies. Oh my god. Non-anomalies. Come on, Jonas. Chop, chop. We don't have all night. And on anomalies. <laughs> exactly, quick join us before we all get possessed. It's not as if they didn't tell us a freaking time limit. In fact, you know what? I'm going to see if I can find it myself first. It's hard to describe how satisfying it is that as a not native English, as a not native speaker is not the only one struggling with a bunch of English words. <laughs> I struggle with all English words. Like lots of English words. Is that a letter? No. I'm always impressed how well everybody else speaks um, when English is not their first language. Oh, there's the thing. You're not helping, Shadow. I know that, that I know a lot of weird words. I pick them up from weird places. <laughs> I don't know a lot of weird words. I'm a simple person. I'm gonna look for the... It's gotta be up here, right? Because there was nothing up there before. Maybe. Find stop review at the cliffs. We definitely did this one. These rocks, I'm pretty sure. And then she wants to know what the German word for those. <laughs> like the hell do I know? <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> Perch for a bird. That's not a hard word. <laughs> Oh, Maggie oh, thought that God. the way the ghosts can talk to us and vice versa is waves. Yeah. Anna and I frequently conducted tests at what was once the East Barracks here during the brutal winter of 51. Waves? Oh, like actual water waves. Oh, no, no. The waves that I thought. Waves of any kind. Radionuclear ectralor... <laughs> ectralor magnetic. <laughs> Electromagnetic seemed able to pass through all existences under certain circumstances, which explained our ability to get communics sent from them. This might also justify the frequency of hearing one of the Canaloa's electrician call signs, Calvin Gilbert, 
come echoing through the relays. On April 4th, 52, we would attempt to reverse the manifest, manifest breakdown and bring the soldiers back. This is what they tried to do. This is... Uh-oh. Okay. This is explaining stuff. So they decided they were going to try and bring them back, which is probably how they know about these triangle bullshits. Um, no speaking crafty junk now, yes. Um, I've definitely did this one, right? what that's about two cars um oh yeah then we've been up here let's double check that that other one was gone yeah we definitely did this one as well I remember doing it so we don't need to go up there. See, I know electromagnetic. I have four years electronics degree. Degree, so that's not a fair comparison. You have a four years electronics degree. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there could be more letters. Um, more than one letter in each place if there's more than one stone in each place. Because there's definitely some areas that didn't have stones. You're a masters of electronics. You want to electrocute something? Let's do it. I'll build one of those potato batteries. Right, where does this take us? Oh, this is gonna be where the well was? If we go down? Yeah, the cabin's up there. Let's explore the heck out of this area. You used electronics to make fire, like, on purpose? I hope it wasn't an accident. And you got <laughs> on purpose, good, good, good. <laughs> you got a good grade, the fastest fire. Nice. A rocket ignition, holy shit. Crafty is confirmed rocket scientist. To propel the poppadom. Holy shit. Did you film this experiment? Because I want to watch it. They, um,. Maggie and Anna tried to bring the soldiers back in the cave. Okay, so. After stealing equipment from this relay station, Anna and I entered the cave just before dawn to try and communicate directly with the crew of the USS Kanaloa. We successfully tuned in to the source of the temporal tear and spoke, albeit briefly, to Henry Griffin, an SOC sergeant who died on the sub. But the power overwhelmed my dear Anna, and she was absorbed into its ridge. All that remains there now is the flickering hue of the partially open gate, a window to a perpendicular space that seems to have augmented the, the submarine's call. But of all my regrets, perhaps the deepest is knowing Anna's last vision was of me fleeing from her in terror. But I mean she will have been possessed right so that that's a that's an accurate reaction to that sort of thing um they opened the gate they spoke briefly but also would have found out that these people were like 
children, right? Mental capacity of children or whatever. Um, there's no film, oh no. It was a firework that you set on fire to fly a poppadom without breaking it. <laughs> Just imagine a zip wire with a poppadom flying along it out. Along it on a firework. <laughs> Why didn't you film this? <laughs> For science. <laughs> That's great, Crafty. That's cool. So, okay, we're getting, we're getting more information. And then that means that she's the only person that was left alive knowing about all of this, right? And they left like an actual tear in the space time. That could even be what's caused them to be looping this whole time or whatever, right? Maybe they should have just left them alone. Oh no, no, because they were communicating with them, yeah. Uh, right, let's go left first. Oh, actually, let's double check in case there's any more letters. That seems fine. Just yell if you see any rocks. I am keeping my eye out, but we both know that I also missed some before <laughs> when I was stood right next to them. Right, there's none along there, right? Does this just end? Because this is where Ren got possessed before and we made a triangle. The triangle's gone. Right, this just ends. Roz, do you have to? Right, if you're going there... Oh my god, Roz. Roz, Roz, Roz. If you're going there, let me have this keyboard, please. There you go. Engineers do the best coursework. Yeah, I went down to the well. There was a letter there. Oh, but I didn't do the... Um... Shit, I didn't do the radio. Oh, but he is one as well. I'll go, I'll go down and do the radio. So what's this one gonna be? And um, 102, right? Let go, welcome back. How was the food? This island has had many owners. Portuguese explorers, Spanish settlers, but few stayed long, preferring the ranch work offered by the mainland. After 1890, the island was gifted to Colonel Caleb Edwards for his part in the American Indian Wars, and he would lease it to several mining companies throughout the early 1900s. This relay station served as the center of a makeshift railroad that carted coal to northern and southern piers. When Edwards died, the government saw a hole in national security at the outset of World War II and decided to take control of the island once again, founding Fort Milner in 1941. Okay. This island has had many owners. All right, yeah. That's... That makes sense, I guess. It had mum's leftovers. Ooh. Very nice. Very, very nice. Right, there's the well. Dredged by Franciscan friars, this freshwater well was never actually used, as the missionaries quickly decided the island wouldn't suit their ministering needs and abandoned the project in 1852. It was utilized by Spanish pioneers for a while until it became a secondary resource for mining companies to get clean water. The U.S. Navy ended up digging their own, more modern water pipeline, but servicemen and women would come here frequently for off-site meetings and day events. Dredged by Franciscan friars, this freshwater well was never actually used, as the missionaries quickly decided the island wouldn't suit their ministering needs. Hmm, there you go. <laughs> the history of the well. Everybody was wondering. <laughs> That's a long time it's been there, yeah. And, and for what? Nobody wanted to use it. Well, I guess the 
Did they say the workers used it? Maybe. I mean, a well can never come in wrong. Need water? Great. Need somewhere to put someone? Great. A well. It's got all your needs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, all right. We know there's letters here. Under the ladder, below the Tango, Oscar, Whiskey, Echo, Romeo. Tower. That's a very cryptic code. Under the ladders, below the tower. Oh, did we ever go in that building? I'm trying to make sure I'm being very thorough so I don't have to obviously come back to any of the- Oh look, there's another- another line. Like, it's like the background's in tiles or something. Right, that doesn't even open. Facilities Miners Outpost. Right, so there's... Spooky door. No. Not yet. The letter's down here, obviously. There's not been any rocks... ...up here. I've got a feeling we're not gonna find the last two, you know. Oh, shit. Cause we already found another one over here. Hmm. Here we go. The communication school here taught them how to make codes. Right. <clears throat> Recruits learned communications technology here, and several others learned code breaking. It's true, but due to my aptitude in math and mechanical engineering, I was assigned code making, specifically ciphers with which to conceal projects from even other government agencies. It was a job I grew increasingly uncomfortable with, but my keen interest in radio science had me pulling double duty as a comms officer. I remember one of the Canola's engineers, Francis, calling me a radio woman. As far as he knew, it was my only job. So, okay, her job was making codes to hide, like, encrypt shit and stuff. And she didn't really like it. It was making her uncomfortable. So we did these rocks. Oh yeah, so... That seems to be just the letter from here. Uh, one or two. Fort Milner was the home of the U.S. Army Radio Communication School, which saw more than 100,000 students take its curriculum. During the years it was open, the school trained troops from the various armed services in applied oral communication, radio and TV broadcasting, telecommunications, and what was then state-of-the-art techniques in code breaking using an early form of computer technology. The school was moved to Fort Baxter in Southern California when the post closed in 1974, and it still resides there to this day. Fort Milner was the home of the U.S. Okay. Army Radio Communication School, which saw so, more than 100,000 mm. students take... If we'd listened to this before, we would have known the answer to that question we got in that quiz, where it was like, what's the name of the school here? <laughs> so wait, that takes you to... Facilities, U.S. Army. You've got to kind of go... Right. I guess I'll just do this one first since we're here. Um, quiz hard. You didn't know either. And you listen to it properly. Yeah, I mean, it's like just a little bit of information that you, like, you don't specifically think to remember the name. Oh, letter. She, well, Maggie brought her friend Anna here to help, I guess. Um... When people in the comms department began transferring off, I was able to convince my higher-ups 
including, coincidentally, one eventual army oh, Ros um, one eventual army passenger on board the Canaloa, Henry Griffin, to bring Anna on board as a replacement. Anna had been working in broadcasting, so it made enough sense to the upper ranks. Incidentally, when I dream, it is usually during this time period, amidst the change. I'm trying to prevent Anna from ever coming. Oh. I mean... I guess they didn't know what was going to happen. Like, they were just trying to do a good thing to help us dead people. We definitely did this one, didn't we? It's got to be in the normal frequencies, right? It can't be up these high ones. But I guess we can still check if there's anything new. It's giving me two! Order six. Oh, I don't like it. It was stressing me out. We're still on ten. We must have had that one before. Hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't like I struggle to remember. <laughs> I didn't even that didn't even jog jog any I was going to say jog any bells, ring any memories. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's up here? <laughs> Chop those bells. <laughs> oh, is this the pee room? I think this might be the pee room. Oh no, it's not. Oh no, this is the jump room. Yeah, I remember this now. No stones. Okay, so we'll go... Where are we actually at right now? US Army Rec. Well, well RC, yes. I don't know what that means. We'll go to the facilities. There'll be a letter there. I'm now literally just having a stretch around the cat, so I'm just hoping there'll be no jump scares because my face is like going really close to the screen. <laughs> I think this is the pee room. Okay, this leads to the facilities, that's fine. I don't suppose this rubble is rocks. And then the other way out of the facilities leads back to that um, creepy doorway. Oh yeah, I remember this room. <laughs> Roz is such a bean. Yeah, she likes the company. Like It's quite unusual for a cat. But uh, she really likes the company. Like, she, she's not always on me or asking to be stroked or anything like that. She just wants to be nearby. Um, what the hell is she staring at? Don't do that to me, Roz, please, when I'm playing a game like this. One who gets the paper with Smee has to hide. What am I doing? 104. <laughs> No, 140, I mean. Time for Fina, Lima, Echo, Echo, Papa. In the middle of things. Alright, yeah. Um, That's the room with the beds. Rossi, I can't see. 
But I'm still going looking. Just, I mean, those piles of rocks shouldn't be indoors, right? Oh, there's the creepy mirror. Radios everywhere. There's nothing up there. Hi there! Hello! <laughs> Where do I go to free the ox? <laughs> well, you have come to the right place. Cats are social, they're just not social in the same way humans want to be social with a cat. Yeah, she's just like... She's not like, oh, give me fuss. She's just like, let's be together. Next to each other. Let's just be. <laughs> and that's nice. I like it. Except for when she wants to also be on my knee. Like, 70% of the day. That's quite difficult. <laughs> How are you doing, Heine? Yes, happy weekend. So we're gonna get a letter in here. In the puddle. Oh, it says that the, what a place. the base first found the ghost's messages here. What a place to leave a letter, eh? Um, so. What you drinking today, Frosting Mud? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. The first transmission from the lost soldiers were recorded here by a signal officer training new recruits. I heard about it soon after. Yes, word of the childlike, almost playful messages spread quickly, but the broadcasts were usually dismissed as an ongoing prank, faulty equipment or AM stations bouncing off the Midland. However, after I successfully decoded one as a mayday from Calvin Gilbert, an electrician who perished on the USS Canola. I knew it had to be something more. So that's how they how this even started was that um they just happened to keep finding these childlike messages. I mean that would be a little bit sus after a while. But there's only one more. There's only one more letter. Oh look, a locked room! A locked room. Climb! Please no ghosts, please no ghosts, please no ghosts. <laughs> Sassy, welcome. Please no ghosts, please no ghosts. Have we been in here? Oh, rocks, 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 rocks. Okay. Uh... Right. Come at me, demons. This is my idea. I ask that the Congress... Right, we've listened to all these ones a few times. There we go. Jason. So, it's... What's with these ones that have words above them? That's the second one we've heard of that now. And there's only one more left and I have no idea where it is because... Um, we've checked all around here. We've checked around here. We've kind of checked everywhere. I don't know where the last one is. But, um... That was like, something touched them in the water and then they were like spooked out and it's like, were they just tourists? Maybe like the ghosts have been targeting people or something, I don't know. X to Jason, exactly. Jason! <laughs> um, mud sassy. <laughs> um, everyone watching this channel, I don't know, I just... I have four. <laughs> um, 
Isn't it easier to ban Sassy to keep the wall full of mods? <laughs> um, they generally all have words, say in the frequency. Yeah, they all have words out loud, but did they all have these? Did they all have these? I don't remember that. Um... <laughs> you gone, Heine. Um, have a great evening. Do, do you have an... Oh, maybe, maybe the last one is in the bunker or something. Maybe. Right, we got the letter from here. We still have one more letter to find, right? Um... The floaty words. I have totally blanked out the floaty words then. Uh, actually no, we can go down this way now, right? Uh, map. So we can go down to this tower because then we'll have done a loop. Yeah. Woo! Looked at a list of stones. There's three, possible, three possibilities. Not sure which. So none of them are beyond the bunker. Um, you can tell me if you want. And because I, I I can I feel like I can kind of remember where most of them were now, or at least I'll remember if I haven't maybe got one. Yeah, I think I got the one in front of the bunker. I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> 